what's going on everybody it's uh 3:35 in the morning we're at the new loves here in brookville pennsylvania bx 78 if uh you're running across i-80 uh brand new as you can see nobody knows it's here yet got a couple guys on the fuel island here but anyway uh we're on our way down to denora Pennsylvania to uh, pick up this load going to Alabama. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get a cup of coffee because I didn't get, make myself one before I left the house because I wanted to beat this rain. But, uh, uh, also, I'm on the phone right now, recording with the phone because I don't know where the batteries for the GoPros are. Um, I took them on the Hot Rod Power Tour with me and sure what I did with them. So I'm going to see if I can find them. If not, I'm going to have to buy some new ones. Until then, we're going to be on the iPhone. So, well, there you have it. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get a cup of coffee and get back on the road.
right guys as you can see we got it loaded it's uh, a walkway I, I guess going to a job site down in uh, our uh, mine down in Alabama so uh, got it on there chained the big piece strapped everything else there's all kinds of different pieces on there and uh, I'm back here because Bella's running so you probably wouldn't be able to hear me uh, also as you can see back there I got poured on so another beautiful day in trucking uh, but it's loaded pitter patter let's get out all right guys we made it to Dallas Pike to the TA and uh, I'm gonna jump out check my straps and uh, get something to eat get some breakfast I'm hungry so uh, those two top pieces well there's two of them you can't really tell but those those up there are not attached to that down there so I have the lower part chained and then straps up over the top stuff so and then there's little, little pieces all through there uh, I had to strap and I think I got eight or nine two inch straps on there so uh, get out and show you here It's a walkway, and uh, everything bolts to this big frame, so um, I'm going to check and make sure everything's tight, and I guess I'm going to have to get out my edge protectors, so I should have put some up there, but I thought with them round bars being up there that it wouldn't hurt them, so um, get out edge protectors and uh, get them up there and get everything tightened back down All right for those of you that don't know these are V boards Edge protectors depends on who you're talking to as to what they call them They keep straps from getting cut like that one right there and that one right there had to replace them So I know y'all are wondering how I'm going to get these V boards any of the B boards up there. Well, they make this handy dandy extendable handle. Looks like a broom or a squeegee, but you put a B board in there. Let's see if I can do this one handed. I don't think I'm going to be able to, but uh, straddle on it now. <laughs> Uh, okay. Hold on. There you go. So these particular ones have a handle, so I just click it in the handle. And then you run it up underneath the strap. Well, that's if it doesn't try to come unscrewed on you. Yep. Got the strap too tight, so I'm gonna have to loosen it up on the other side there. But that's the general concept. Run it up underneath the strap and tuck it in there. All right, got the strap completely loosened up on the other side. And let's just see if we can tighten this thing down. It has a set screw in it that I don't have in it because I take it apart. When I put it away. But, let's see if we can get it here. One-handed. There we go. And got it on there. Give it a tug. And the strap holds it in place. Now I just got five more of those to do. Well, there you go, V boards. We picked up a tree limb, and uh, they put cardboard in underneath them rails that flip up. So it's wanting to come out of there, and there's nothing I can do about that. I can't get up there, so uh, just gonna have to ride like that. But anyway, that's the V boards. I put my smaller ones down along the bottom here, where I thought they needed to be, key from cutting straps. So. We're gonna walk around to the other side.
then uh, I'm going to call it a day here. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So Cincinnati, we're headed down 71. So Cincinnati is going to be getting busy with rush hour. And of course, then you got Louisville and Nashville. So, uh, which we've been at it for 12 hours anyway, uh, from the start of my clock. So uh, we're going to do our 10 hour break here and get after it probably about midnight ish. So, according to GPS, we got 8 hours and 44 minutes of drive time, 588 miles. So, uh, I weighed this when we came in. I forgot to mention that. I got my scale ticket while I was inside. I had to rework some of my uh, tie downs because my chain on the passenger side in the back was up against one of the lights in the side of the trailer. I missed that when I was chaining it down. So I moved that, got that away from the light, and uh, checked all my straps and the stairwell that they have on the back. They put a 4x4 underneath it. Well, apparently the 4x4 rolled or something and it was down on the deck, is down on the deck. Rubbing, it was rubbing against my deck because, of course, once it fell, the strap wasn't tight anymore. So I had to tighten that strap up. And it's too heavy for me to pick up. I can't pick it up and move it. It's steel steps. So I just had to strap it to the deck, which sucks, but that's what it is. So anyway, I weighed this thing. Travels. See you in the next one.